All right, guys, it's time to talk. So by far the most common comment I see on my channel, I probably get 40 or 50 comments every single day, is why do you not record with Spy Cakes, OB, and Komodo anymore? Well, today I'm gonna answer that question because I see a ton of comments, I see a lot of mean things being said, some crazy theories, so today, you will hear from me why I no longer record with those guys, just so you guys know the truth and you don't have to listen to some crazy guy in the comment section telling you things that may or may not be true. So I started my channel in February of 2018, right? I had no idea what I was doing. I started creating a gaming video every single day and for like three or four months, I had absolutely no growth. Well, in the summer, I finally started getting a little bit better and I started getting a couple subscribers. I found beautiful OB's channel first. Now he was one of the only bigger YouTubers at the time that actually responded to comments and I was trying to learn how to grow a YouTube channel. So we started talking. He had about 80,000 subscribers at the time. OB didn't even have 100k yet. Little by little we started to build a relationship. We started talking a little bit more in Discord and eventually I think it was like October of 2018 me and him made our first video together. It was like a Brick Rigs video. My microphone wasn't working. I didn't even know how to make a collab video and OB was nice enough to welcome me into one of his videos Obviously, it was huge for my channel, right? I went from 900 subscribers to probably 2,000 subscribers within a month or two and then around December January of that year uh, OB introduced me to Spy Cakes and Komodo right away. We all hit it off We loved talking with each other We became really good friends and we started recording a lot of videos together Gary's mod Minecraft Roblox anything that was like a role-playing style game. Now, here's the thing. I always had the face cam and they didn't. So role-playing games never worked perfectly on my channel, but at the time, they were so much bigger than me that obviously it benefited me and it helped my channel. And for that, I am forever grateful to them for giving me that opportunity to be in their videos. Now let's fast forward another six to eight months. Well, I was the only one in the group that had a face cam. So I started doing indie horror games. I started doing a lot more Roblox and Minecraft, uh, some vlogs and things like that. So little by little, our channel started to change, but we were still playing the same games together. Games like Gary's Mod, a lot of role-playing games. Now, I see a ton of really mean comments saying that I used them for views and I used them to get famous and then left the group right when I got big enough. Um, guys, it, that really, it really hurts my feelings a lot. It, it really upsets me when I see comments like that because that could not be farther from the truth and I will explain exactly why. Now, fast forward a year and a half until September of 2019. I got to the point where I had about 75, 80,000 subscribers subscribers and I actually quit my job as an accountant to make YouTube my full-time job. So this was the biggest risk I had probably ever taken in my life. YouTube went from a pure hobby purely just for fun to the sole source of my income and the way that I pay my bills and feed my family. So automatically everything became real. People see that YouTubers like, uh, you know, Mr. Beast make millions and millions of dollars. Well, when you have 75,000 subscribers, you are not making millions of dollars, guys. In fact, I was making just enough to pay my bills. So every video became extremely important. It didn't take long to realize that Gary's Mod videos in particular were by far the worst videos on my channel. You would see I'd get 20,000 views on a Baldi's Basics, 15,000 views on a Minecraft, 12,000 views on a Roblox, and 3,000 views on a Gary's Mod. I mean, guys, it wasn't even close. My theory is that all four of us were releasing the exact same video all within a day or two of each other, and some people would watch Spy Cake, some people would watch Obese, but some people would watch Komodo, and a few people would watch me. By, at that time, my channel was by far the smallest channel, so even though the guys were nice enough to let me upload the videos first, a lot of you guys would wait until Spy Cakes or Komodo or OB would upload their perspective. Now again, if I was just using these guys to get views and using these guys to get famous, that would have been the moment I would have left the group, right? I mean, now it was my livelihood. Like I said, this is how I was putting food on my table and that would be the moment that I would have talked to them and said, hey, I'm leaving the group, but that's that's not what happened. Another piece of the equation is we introduced Minecraft into our group. We created uh, an SMP and that worked amazing for me. 
The problem is it, it didn't really work for OB and Komodo in particularly. Spy Cake's channel was and, and still is the biggest channel, so most of those videos did very well for Spy Cakes, but for OB and Komodo in particular, the Minecraft series really stopped working for them. So they spoke with me, with Spy Cakes and all of us and said, hey, Minecraft is not working on our channels. We're not really going to play that too much. And I spoke with them and said, hey, Gary's mod isn't working on my channel. I'm going to play a lot less of that. And that was totally fine. I wasn't angry at them. I know that YouTube is also their jobs and their livelihoods, and they weren't mad at me for playing less Gary's mods. But that was not the end of the group. You know, for the next year and a half, I fought and clawed to keep recording with them. In fact, it got so bad with Gary's Mod videos that I started recording videos with them and just wouldn't upload them, right? I mean, I didn't want to leave the group so badly because one, I loved the guys. They were some of my best friends in the world. Two, I knew that they gave me that platform and I knew how bad it would look if once I got to the point where I had 100,000 subscribers, I left the group. And three, I didn't want to affect their videos. I knew that Gary's Mod worked really well for them and, and, and we all had so much fun making those videos. So instead of uploading two Gary's Mod videos every week, I started uploading one and I would film another one with them and, and not upload it. Now move another year forward until I started my vlog channel, TFG Vlogs. Well, now my workload doubled, right? Those vlogs, even though I only release one a week or every other week, those videos take as much time as probably seven to 10 gaming videos. So now I'm uploading fully on a vlog channel, fully on a gaming channel, and I'm recording these videos that I'm not even uploading. You can ask my wife, Sam. I was working 15, 16 hours every single day for seven days a week. I was extremely unhealthy. I was not eating healthy and I was barely sleeping. So now let's talk about when I left the group because I see a lot of people saying, Brandon, you used those guys just to get famous and then you abandoned them. Uh, that, that could not be farther from the truth, guys. A, a lot of people also say uh, there was a big fight. You guys must have had a big argument, a big fight. That is also not true. I still love those guys. In fact, I still talk to a lot of them in Discord. Uh, I was just talking to Spy Cakes a couple weeks ago about the forest fires in Canada. I was seeing if he's doing okay. So no, we did not have a fight. Um, and, and Spy Cakes and I even talk about bringing back a Minecraft series every once in a while. Now, there wasn't a specific time when I left the group. Like I said, I, I never really left the group. But eventually, I stopped recording those extra videos that I was not releasing, and then little by little, I started releasing less and less. I think me and Spy Cakes were kind of the last two that recorded together. Uh, we played a lot of Minecraft, and then our Minecraft ideas kind of ran out, and that series ended. So basically, by the end, it was just Minecraft and Gary's mod, so when we stopped playing those together, uh, you know, we stopped recording together. You know, if there's a game in the future that comes out that we need to play together, I, I would love to play with those guys again. In fact, it would be a dream of mine to make videos with them again if we can make them all work for our channels. You know, if there's a game like Among Us where you need so many people, I would love to play with those guys and Kindly Key and Dak Blake, a lot of those guys again. I wanted to make this video because I've been seeing a lot of comments from people saying, oh, um, Obi and Brandon hate each other. Um, I know I don't hate OB. I, I really hope OB does not hate me. This video has been long overdue. I'm sorry I haven't addressed it earlier, but now you guys know. Guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for supporting my channel over the course of the last, you know, five or six years. And um, yeah, I'll see all of you guys in the next video.